everyone this is Andy um, this is a record haul video I know when's the last time you seen me show a bunch of records well uh, in the past couple months I really haven't picked up anything new on vinyl that's worthy of speaking of I guess uh, but uh, over the weekend this is Labor Day weekend today's Labor Day so happy Labor Day everyone uh, so over the past three or four days just north of here uh, they're having this 61 mile yard sale over Labor Day weekend so me and my son yesterday we made the trek and we we hit several of these roadside yard sales um, and there was a lot of people out a lot of traffic you really got to watch yourself uh, driving up and down these roads because this yard sale was kind of in the hills so there's a lot of twists and turns and you gotta be careful you'll hit somebody but uh anyway i picked up around 24 24 or 26 records i think 26 and i paid 50 cents a piece for each of these uh they were all picked up let's see uh, 20 of them i got from one guy and uh, the others I got from a couple of other places that were kind of staggered out. And uh, surprisingly, there were a lot of records out. Now, um, realistically, 90% of the records that people had for sale were, were thrift store crap or just stuff that uh, was so scratched up or badly abused that you, you just didn't want to buy it. But... Uh, the first guy that I spoke with, he had a flatbed trailer, and half of it was just piled up with records. And I thought, this doesn't look good because, you know, how long have these been on this flatbed? Have they been out in the sun? You know, it, it's hard to tell when you're doing a yard sale thing. So I went ahead and started digging through them, and surprisingly enough, I did find a few that I thought I needed. So, I will show those to you now. Uh, I'm just going to show you all of them. I, th I think they're in order as far as what I got from him and then so on and so on. So, this first guy, the bulk of what he had was funk, soul, and R&B. Which I do not have a lot of. Because, honestly, I don't see a lot of funk uh, albums in this area. Well, this guy, he had come from St. Louis... Uh, he said he had bought uh, one of, you've seen these shows where people blindly buy the contents of storage units well that's what he had done and it had a large assortment of funk soul R&B records that he cared absolutely nothing about and he was asking 50 cents a piece for them so let me show you what I picked up uh, right off the top Lionel Richie, Can't Slow Down. You all know this album. I didn't have a copy, but I do now. It's got uh, Hello, Penny Lover, Stuck on You, All Night Long, Run With the Night. It's, it's Lionel Richie. Uh, Lisa, I know you're watching. I hope you're watching. I found this Herbie Hancock, Still on the Shrink, Headhunter album. I know you're a Herbie. Kirby fan. Doesn't have a scratch on it. It's a beautiful record. 50 cents. Isaac Hayes, Black Moses. Not the fold out one, but Isaac Hayes nonetheless. Again, the, the vinyl on the bulk of these is just fine. Sly and the Family Stone, uh, their greatest hits. Gatefold. Woman in Red soundtrack, which is basically a Stevie Wonder album. A lot of good Stevie Wonder songs on that. The Meters, Strutting. I was kind of surprised to see this one, just laying loose in the wild. I, I, I like The Meters. Uh, don't know much about this one, uh, but I bought it because it looked cool. Uh, Johnny Guitar Watson, I Don't Want to Be a Lone Stranger. 
It looked interesting. Don't know anything about it. If I show something that you have or you know about, comment below. Let me know because some of these I don't know. Some of them I just bought purely on who they are. I do know this fella. Oh, baby. Barry White. Uh, Rhapsody and White. Prelude to a Kiss, Valentino plays Duke Ellington. Thought that looked interesting. Parliament. Uh, motor Booty Affair. I'm taking my glasses off so I can read. Um, this has got uh, Mr. Wiggles, uh, Rump of Steel Skin, You're a Fish and I'm a Water Sign, Aqua Boogie, uh, Liquid Sunshine. And what's cool about this album, I didn't realize until I got it home, I have cleaned these already. And as I was cleaning them, I found out this has got a pop-up inside of it. So, that's pretty cool. Parliament. There's Bootsy. War, Platinum Jazz. This is a double LP. And it may be a live album. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't given it a spin yet. But it looks pretty good shape. I was very excited to see this one as well. Uh, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Wake up everybody. I've always dug that album cover. And I see this one pop up on several 100 greatest albums of all time lists. Yet I've never heard this. But when I saw it I knew I had to get it. Uh, I will give it a spin and comment soon on what I thought of it. So, uh, Cannonball Adderley, Domination. He had several uh, Cannonball Adderley albums, but like I said, the bulk, the bulk of them were kind of scratched up. This one was probably the cleanest of the bunch, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Wilson Pickett in Philadelphia. Uh, I believe this may be a live album, but again, I don't know because I haven't given it a spin yet. But uh, it's got Run Joy Run, Help the Needy, Come Right Here, Bumblebee, uh, Get Me Back on Time, Engine Number Nine, International Playboy, Wilson Pickett, uh, Ramsey Lewis, Wade in the Water. I'm a, I, I, I dig Ramsey Lewis, so glad, glad to get a hold of that one. It's got a cover of Tobacco Road on it. And Day Tripper. Oh, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. Still in a shrink. Stroking. Uh, this is Dr. CC. And it does have the song Stroking on it. Which was a big hit back in 86. This one took the cake. Ohio Players Honey. And it is the gatefold, and hopefully I can show this on YouTube. Oh yeah. Look at that honey, covered in honey. It's got Love Roller Coaster and Honey. Al Green, let's stay together. Had to get that. It's it also it has that song and it also has How Can You Mend a Broken Heart. Great Al Green album. Another Isaac Hayes. This is Hot Buttered Soul with a little pop sticker on it. Uh, Johnny Taylor's Greatest Hits. Uh, this is on the Stax label and it's a white label promo. So I was very glad to see that. Uh, okay. That is it for that batch. And then the next place I went to, Lisa, I picked up McKendry Spring, number three. Have not given this a spin yet, but I do have another McKendry Spring album that I do enjoy. So I was happy to jump on board and grab this one. Uh, have the very first song on here is Down by the River by Neil Young. So I'm looking forward to giving this a listen. I didn't even know that. I just first time I've really looked at it. Uh, it also has an Arlo Guthrie song, uh, "Oh in the Morning." 
So, yeah. Then uh, I picked up a country album. This is Holly Dunn, Cornerstone. Very clean copy. Uh, Holly Dunn, she did that song Daddy's Hands back in the early 80s. This album's from 87. I don't recognize any of these songs, but I'm sure if I give it a spin, I'll figure out which one was the hit off of it. Uh, this, is an, this is an 80s rock band that I'd never heard of or seen before, but I went ahead and bought it because the cover seemed a bit intriguing. The album, or the band is called Photo Maker. That just looks odd to me. This came out in 8 in... Oh, this is 78. It came out in 78. I, for some reason, I was thinking 80s, but 78. Classified as rock, but I haven't listened to it yet. Um, I picked up uh, The Way In from Keyhole. Uh, this is like a indie press album. I believe it's uh, folk, maybe a little Christian folk. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna give it a spin, and uh, just by looking at it, I think it'll be a fun album. And okay, I'm down, I'm down to the the last two here. And uh, this one, as soon as I saw it, me and my son both saw it at the same time. And I like to give album knowledge to him along the way. Now, he's heard me talk about this before because I own the the album that was. Uh, re-released after they pulled the original cover and here's the original cover often known as the constipated Bach cover uh, this is switched on Bach it's uh, it's classical music played on a Moog and uh, yeah for some reason they a lot of people didn't like that album cover or made fun of it or something so the company recalled it and reshot or reissued it with the other album cover so how do you get constipated Bach and in this album, still in the shrink, uh, unopened, didn't know anything about it, but as soon as I saw the cover, I thought, I'm going to Discog that. And I'm glad I did, because there's only one copy on Discogs, and it's $75. It's For Now 3, and according to Discogs, it's a jazz album. Uh, the corners, the top corner and the bottom corner are bent a little bit, but like I said, it's still in a shrink, so the, the vinyl should be nice and minty. But, uh, 1972, don't really know anything about it. If you do, comment and let me know, because I, I don't know if I want to bust it open and give it a spin, or if I just want to keep it like this, so. Okay, and then, also, I picked up this uh, this was it's a 45 carrying case and it's full of 45s and uh, it just had a sign on the front that said box of 45s five dollars so I opened it up and it's about half full and the thing I noticed right off the bat was several of the records are still in the original picture sleeves. So I just quickly closed it and I handed them five dollars and I thought this will be a mystery grab for me. So I got it home and I went through it because I was going to clean these and they look like they've never been played. Uh, I'll go ahead and show the ones that are in sleeves first because uh, there's a handful that are not. But uh, got Billy Squire, Emotions in Motion. Austin Roberts, You Got the Power. Not real sure about that one. Santa Claus is coming to town. Whitney Houston, Greatest Love of All. Cindy Lauper, She Bop. Uh, Bruce Willis. Remember Bruce Willis? Yeah, sure you do. Uh, Respect Yourself and Fun Time on the Motown label. Uh, Pointer Sisters, Jump. Heart, These Dreams. Survivor, Burning Heart from the Rocky IV soundtrack. Scandal, 
fe uh, featuring Patty Smythe, the Warrior, shooting at the walls of heartache. Cliff Richard, uh, Count Me Out, and We Don't Talk Anymore. Uh, Ray Parker Jr., Ghostbusters. And the one my wife was most excited about, An American Tale, Bible, well, An American Tale, somewhere out there, Linda Ronstadt and James Ingram. And then there were these that don't have the neighbor's dog is going to start barking. Uh, Star Wars Cantina theme backed with Funk. Uh, Disco Duck, Rick Dees. Uh, Oak Ridge Boys, Y'all Come Back Saloon backed with Emmy Lou. Barber Man Drill, Married to Each Other and Fool's Gold. Stevie Wonder, I wish and you and I Carol King to know that I love you and Hard Rock Cafe Joy Apollo 100 and exercise in a minor Glenn Campbell Southern Knights and William Tell Overture Hocus Pocus Focus with uh, Hocus Pocus 2 Torn Between Two Lovers Mary McGregor uh, Three Dog Night Eli's Coming uh, the Jackson 5, It's Too Late to ch Change Your Time, and Dancing Machine. Jim Stafford, Spiders and Snakes. Uh, Electric Light Orchestra, Can't Get It Out of My Head, and Illusions in G Major. And Twine Time by Alvin Cash and the Crawlers. It's backed with The Bump. So that's what I picked up at the 61 mile yard sale. Uh, hopefully you're still with me. Thanks for watching. I've got some more items coming in the mail here in about a week or so. Uh, quick note, I won uh, Flash Gordon's One Record at a Times contest. Uh, he sent me an Amazon code for $50, which I have already redeemed, and I've got some vinyl coming in the mail. So stay tuned. I will do a video of my contest winnings once I receive that. Uh, if you don't sub... Flash Gordon's one record at a time. Please do so. He's got a great channel. Uh, high energy, uh, fun to watch. So, until next time, take care. Peace.